Games. Hello everyone, welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video. And in today's video, we're going to do a full tutorial on how to build a fully stacked starship. Uh, we're going to just do a rundown of how to build it in the vehicle assembly building. Then we're going to take it out to the launch pad and do a nice quick hop with it. And I'll talk through uh, some tips on how to do the belly flop and the landing. So that is going to be the plan for today's video. So let's get straight into the VAB and get construction of our starship. Uh, so yeah, I'm making this video because uh, a few days ago I made a video about uh, a fully stacked starship that I made that uh, flew to Duna and back and it was pretty cool and stuff. And I got a few comments like asking like, hey, you know, I'm on the video and on my Discord server, you know, in the description, right, Discord? Um, just asking, you know, any tips on how to build it, how do you get the fins to move, how do you do this, that. So I just figured, hey, let's do a nice uh, nice tutorial. Never done a tutorial before and I uh, hope, hope you guys enjoy. So um, this is fully stock, uh, the craft, and um, uh, full disclosure, both DLCs are required required for um for the uh, for the construction of the craft and i'll put the craft file in the description if you want to download or you can just follow along or you can just uh, watch it for entertainment purposes i guess um but i we're already starting so uh what you want to do is you want to get a, a upside down fairing get a 3.75 meter engine plate and three wolfhound engines which are going to be our raptor vacuum engines and then you want to get them to about the edge of the walls of the fairing. This is uh, the bottom or the engine skirt. Uh, next, you want to get uh, three vectors. These are going to simulate or be our uh, KSP stand-in for the um, Raptor sea levels. And you want them to be about two, two on one to the, uh, just you want them to, you know, you get the idea, you want how they look, and it was just like a real starship. So, uh, that is pretty much the engine skirt done. So now we can get the top fairing, uh, done. So we're gonna just go ahead and do one, two, uh, three, four, and about four and a half, uh, is what we want to do for the, uh, height of the starship. And then we can go ahead and make our nose cone. The nose cone is one of the more difficult parts in the way KSP's, um, snapping tool works it's not always the best way to KSP's nose cone they, they look a little like kind of edgy I don't know if that's the correct word uh, but there are definite ways um, that you can improve the nose cones if you uh, fiddle with it for a while um, but I'm happy with how that one came out um, now we're going to put the landing legs on and we're just going to use them since there's no uh, official uh, official landing leg design from SpaceX yet Elon has said on Twitter it's uh, multiple times it's a highly dynamic process or a highly dynamic uh, thing they're going through within uh, the legs. So I'm just going to put the, these three hydraulic pistons and then you want to just kind of clip them into the uh, into the engine skirt just so they or into the fairing so just so they, the engine skirt looks nice and clean. And then you want to set your target extension to whatever height you want. I'm going with two and a half and then you want to just put your extension and limit to that and then um and then we have to set up some action groups to get them deployed and we'll do that at the end we'll do action groups at the end just do just do them all at the end just so you can you know do the flaps fin all that stuff uh but yeah so and we make sure you have the fair fill uh the fairing to be silver um which is the, obviously the most important part so now we're going to be adding the fuel tanks we're going to do two of the big ones and then one of the smaller ones uh for the hop you probably want to put the fuel you want to drain i for the hop when i did the hop i drained uh, the top two fuel tanks and i had the bottom tank be at a half uh, fuel, but you can really have your fuel situation if you want to do it exactly like mine um, I like to have my starship a little bit more back heavy. I keep I find that it's a little more controllable on the flop uh, But you can do it however you'd like uh, next thing is uh, the reaction wheels Just putting a lot of reaction wheels in because hey, we have the room, right? Then once you're done with the reaction wheels and go ahead and put a probe core on. I probably want to get the smaller one. A um, uh, note about the probe core, uh, if you find that your starship is kind of going the wrong way or like when you when you pitch over it's like upside down and stuff like your controls aren't right, uh, you want to take the rotate tool and rotate the, uh, um, the probe core like 180 degrees. You can do that if you're having issues. Uh, but after that, uh, it's time for the um, time for the fins. This is probably the, the signature part of starship and probably the most difficult part to recreate in KSP. So I'm using uh, these uh, big hinges. Um, the biggest hinge in the game is what I'm using just because uh, if you use smaller ones, they can kind of flop around the, the fins and you don't want them to do that. Anyway, make sure you have like the radial symmetry. I believe that's what it's called. I don't remember, but the one we have like, you know, the symmetry mode that I'm in right now. Um, just so the fins will actually uh, rotate together. Uh, I hope I'm making sense with that. Um, yeah, so... Um, uh, with the fins, I elected to use uh, structural panels for my fins uh, just because you can color those to be a more dark color. Uh, if you use uh, wings, I find that the Starship is actually extremely aerodynamic and uh, you can actually use it as it, it's almost fl flyable like a plane which is kind of crazy uh, so these structural panels may also simulate the um 
the falling dynamics a little bit more accurately, actually, because they don't act, they don't generate lift or as much lift as uh, as wings do. And I don't know if you've ever seen the real Starship; those fins do not generate like any lift whatsoever. Starship lands with drag, not with lift. Um, that's that's like its thing. So yeah, now I'm just finding the right way to attach it. Um, and that, there it goes, and then you can see it can rotate like that, and we can then can start construction of the bottom fins. Bottom fins are the easiest of the uh, two sets of fins, in my opinion. So we're just going to take a um, one of the big structural panels. I'm just trying to get it to snap uh, to the correct note. It does take a few attempts. The KSP is a little bit fidgety. I don't know if you've ever met KSP or used it before. Um, I don't think that's a surprise to most people. This is like the most fidgety, ridiculous, glitchy game ever. Uh, but hey, it's a fun game, right? Um, so, yeah, we are silver, and then we can, um, I don't remember if I recolor it right here, or, because I'm uh, doing this commentary, um, post, obviously, I'm recording, uh, after I've made the ship. I tried it originally to do the commentary while constructing the ship, and it just didn't work out. I'm not good at live commentaries yet. Maybe I'll have to get more practice. So, uh, we just have the fins be, uh, too tall, and then for the, uh... For the, the slanty bit, you want the, the slant bit to be uh, pretty much exactly as long as the flat bit. I don't know if that makes sense, but the angle bit be as long as the non -ended. So what I'm using is I'm using these uh, equilateral triangles and kind of constructing like a, 40, uh, a, a more a gentle slope than the right triangles. I think that makes sense. Uh, but that's the bottom fins fully constructed. And then we're going to take... Um, Take the offset tool and move it down to the bottom just so because you want this, the fins to be as low as possible to be accurate to Starship. So after that, um, we are going to uh, do construction of the top fins. Or actually, we're going to set the uh, rotation of the bottom fins first. See, I know what I'm doing. An important thing uh, that I haven't uh, mentioned yet, uh, you don't make sure you don't auto-struct um, the... Um, the piece, the structural panel that is connected to the uh, hinge, because then the hinge won't be able to rotate. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind. Also, uh, the thing I didn't mention before, um, you want to don't, um, I've actually heard conflicting opinions on whether or not you want auto strut fairings. Uh, I've not found it to really matter much, so I just turned auto strut off for this, for the fairings. But you want to make sure you the fuel tanks that are connected to the fairing that you you don't have those auto strut because if or sorry rigid attached because if they're rigid attached um, then then they'll like they'll shear off and the whole thing will explode when you're trying to do your belly flop so keep that in mind. Um, so now I'm just setting our angle for um, for the fins. You want to make sure that they don't um, that they don't kind of like look weird and you can see like the edge of the the fin. But you can just look how I did it and uh, yeah. So, uh, next step is the uh, top fins, and that's basically the last step after a little bit of house cleaning work. At, or I don't know if that'd be the right word. A little bit of busy work would be the end. Um, but this is the last major step, just we have to put in, like, batteries and set up the action groups after this, and put in some RCS thrusters. So, we're going to use uh, not as big of a hinge, because it doesn't really fit in the top fairing, or the top part of the fairing. We're just going to use a smaller, a smaller one. And then we just want to make sure they're lined up properly and we can begin construction of uh, the top fins. Uh, well, as we do that, I would like to do my plugs, guys. It's time for the plugs. I'll keep the plugs quick. So, uh, you know, you want to hit the subscribe button. I mean, you know, I have a goal to hit 2,000 subs by the end of the year. So, I think it's pretty sketchy. I'd say we have about a 20 to 30% possibility of hitting it. Uh, when the Starship Pop was happening, like, I was getting crazy views and stuff and subs and stuff. But that's probably just because of the hype of uh, around uh, Starship. And it has slowed down a little bit in the last few days, so let's hope, you know, fingers crossed, that we can uh, we can get to the goal. Be a pretty nice Christmas present, I think, <laughs> or a late Christmas present because New Year's is a few days. But it'll be close. Uh, it'll be close. So if you don't want to subscribe to join the Discord, Discord is pretty epic. We have some cool people on Discord. I think we're just about at 350 members, so that's that's pretty awesome. Um, so top fins, right? This is supposed to be tutorial. So um, what we did is we used the same equilateral triangle as we did at the bottom, but uh, for the bottom, for the top fins rather, we're going to use uh, the smaller square one because uh, if you use the big square, they, I feel like they are a little bit too big. Um, so I want to keep them nice and small. And then we're going to use the same technique of trying to just like connecting a bunch of triangles together uh, as we did in the uh, in the bottom fins to kind of construct the angled part of the top fins. Now, if you look at a real starship, uh, even if you if you are following along with this tutorial, um, I would still recommend having a picture of starship. Uh, next to you because uh, I mean you can just use my general techniques if you want and kind of construct the angles the way you want um, Because I figured it's very difficult to get it. It's all what what you think looks best. It's kind of this. That's kind of the story. So 
Yeah, so the uh, the uh, top fins you have to keep a note on is they're actually the, they're angled they're more angled than the bottom fins. Like the slanty bit is at a, a steeper angle um, than the bottom ones. So you don't want to you want to you're gonna have to rotate those triangles uh, just a little bit um, to uh, to correct for that. And that can take a little bit of trial and error just to see what you want because you know oh you can do it too much too little. And uh, another thing that you want to mention uh, is that uh, the um, the alligator hinges. Um, they will stick out the uh, the front of their fairing if you uh, if you uh, have to uh, if you want if you want to put the uh, fins in the in the middle there. So what I did is I just kind of offset the fins from the actual uh, hinge. Actually, it does look a little bit weird with the hinge extending off the side. You can you can clip the hinge into the fairing, but the reason I'm just I'm leaving it outside is just so I can actually click on it mid during flight and kind of manipulate it if I need to or change some settings. So yeah, now I'm just kind of uh, figuring out what angle I want. I think uh, I don't go with that angle. I go with, it's just it's just trial and error. Just keep going until you find something that you want, and you have to make sure you keep uh, you rotate that bottom fin, um, that bottom fin to how you want it, uh, because you have to whenever you move the triangles, you have to move the bottom the bottom square to get it. Uh, did I say fins last time? I don't know. I'm <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to not like repeat a bunch of words. I don't know. Uh, let me know if you think this commentary is good. I don't know. So that's what my top fins look like. That's what I went with the top fin. I believe I do raise them up just a touch here to get them a little bit higher up. And I think that looked pretty accurate. Uh, I think the top fin is actually bigger than most people uh, realize it is. It's, it is quite large. Uh, but yeah, that is basically the um, the main parts of the Starship done. Um, so we're just going to have a little bit of busy work to do. And then we can get it out to the launch pad and do, uh, do our hop. So... Um, we're going to set up the um, the the deploy for the um, for the top fins. And one thing to note with the top fins is they kind of like kind of go into the uh, into the fairing, which looks a little bit weird. So uh, it just depends on how far you want them to go in, or how weird you think it looks to just choose your uh, deploy angle. And that's what I went with. I didn't think that looked too weird. And then uh, yeah, and then don't uh, after that. Uh, we are going to um, make sure that we remember to throw our batteries on battery battery batteries um i'm sorry if there's quite a few crossfades during these uh, last few minutes of the build i kind of had to do this 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 recording out of order because what i would do is I, I was like oh i'm finished and then i go to hit launch and oh crap i don't have electric charge so sorry if there's quite a few fades here and like oh we don't have rcs so i'm putting verner engines uh the primary role these serve um and the reaction wheels uh is to control the uh control the vehicle at the uh, upper parts of the uh of the atmosphere or the beginning of the the belly flop and to help it flip over uh, the reaction wheels and the Werner engines are not very powerful when we get below about 10 kilometers um, I leave them on just because they help a little bit but your, your fins are really what uh, control your descent uh, over like probably 70 80 percent of your control comes from the fins um, when you're through 10 kilometers and it's probably closer to 90 95 percent of your control when you are below like three kilometers so yeah, just keep that in mind. The fins are pretty important uh, to your descent. Um, flying the thing is quite tricky, so uh, yeah. That's why I have these Werner engines and all the reaction wheels, just to give myself as much help as possible. Because um, even if you uh, even if you follow along, even if you download this thing um, directly from the description, it is not going to be easy to fly. Like, it is not easy to fly a Starship in KSP. Um, uh, for reasons I'll explain when we get to the hop. Uh, but now it's time to set up the, um, set up the uh, whatchamacallums, <laughs> the action groups. So we want to go to the actions uh, menu here. See if I ever click on it. There I go. And then we want to go uh, under pitch. I believe I do these the fins first. Hey, I, we do the fins first. So for the pitch, we want to um, hit on the uh, on the hinge, and then you want to set that to target angle. And we want to do the same for the bottom ones. Um, and then I uh, forgot to uh, record me doing this. We want to first of all have those two angled downwards, and that is going to be it for the build. Uh, one thing to note, you um, uh, if you want to just take a, you want to pause the video um, at the end of my action group setting up there for the hinges in case you missed something. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind um, as we start our launch. We're in the air, guys. So yeah, if you want to take a split share, because if you get it wrong, um, it won't be good. Also, one thing I did forget to film while we uh, head on up to our Apple apps, um, I do want to quickly discuss, is you want to make sure you have your uh, piston extension set to an action group. You want to, I set it to action group uh, two uh, and three. 
um, because we want to have as an extend uh, you want one that extends the piston and one that locks the piston so it doesn't move when you when you touch down or else the pistons will kind of like collapse if you touch down on them um, and one other thing I did uh, didn't uh, film uh, was that uh, you, I put action group one as a uh, lock uh, toggle lock for the fins so I have the fins locked right now so when we get up to our app waps and I begin my flip over maneuver which happens uh, right after this cross fade here I hit uh, I hit action group one uh, which will uh, make the fins move and there they go so now we are just basically controlling this belly flop we're doing we were doing about a 20 kilometer hop because hey why not they're fun and uh, now so uh, I do want to talk about the controlling of it uh, this, the starships in KSP, they have a tendency to kind of spin in circles as they descend. Um, so what I found the best way to do things are, and they also have a tendency to kind of fly backwards. So what I found to do is you want to pitch it. You want you don't really want to pitch when you're below about 15 kilometers. You don't want to pitch more than uh, minus 10 degrees. But what you want to do is you want to make sure you are pitching down. That's why I like it having back heavy. I have the fins basically full forward most of the most of the flip, most of the flop, rather. Um, so what you want to do is you want to keep it uh, as nose down as possible, and when it starts to turn, you're going to want to turn into the turn. That's where it gets difficult. Um, normally, you'd think if you want to get out of the turn, you'd turn opposite the turn, obviously, but we, well, because you're pitching down, that means turning into the turn will cancel the turn. So it does take, a, it's, kind of, it's kind of weird, but uh, eventually you do kind of get the hang of it here. Um, as we descend through eight kilometers, I think the stability really starts to get wonky when you get below about seven kilometers. So here you go. See, I'm turning into the turn, trying to keep it as nose down as possible, keeping it nose down as possible. And you want to save probably about 500 meters a second to do your landing burn and flip over maneuver. Coming down four and a half kilometers. And there's four kilometers, and then we're going to do the flip at about one kilometer. We want to keep it as uh, low as possible to do our flip because the efficiency, right? There's two kilometers. Trying to keep it as stable as possible during this uh, final parts of the descent. There's one and a half kilometers, and there's one kilometers, and then we're going to hit retrograde, fold the fins in full power, and there's retrograde, and then we can relax the fin control and just let SAS control us at retrograde. And then we're going to hit radial out once we cancel out our horizontal velocity, and then deploy the fit, uh, gear, lock them, and then we want to bring it down for a nice and um, nice and slow landing. A little bit of horizontal velocity, but hey we made it the fins they can the the landing legs can take quite a bit of horizontal velocity so that is going to uh be the end of the tutorial i hope you uh i hope you uh found this uh helpful uh if you didn't um uh my bad let me know what i could do better sorry this is like my first tutorial so i'm not uh probably not good at them yet but uh thank you for watching what's the next time please remember to comment to this video once again thank you for watching what's the next time and bye